Hey Floss Tube, it's Lolly Lollipop Stitches. It is um, festive season because clearly <sighs> Halloween is over with. I've even got out my Yoda Christmas sweater for years. So yeah, we are in full Christmas get up right now. Right now, right here. I'm Floss Tube. So what has been going on fast tube? It is, I don't even know what day it is. A day in November. Um, this is my, here's the runner tin. It's gone really fluffy. I don't know why. Um, anyways, so it is the, whatever date it is. And it's my bi-weekly update. Um, where am I going? It is. <laughs> what is going on with life? Um, let's, yeah. Um, and it's my first two before I go on holiday. So I actually don't have that much to show, I don't think. Um, Uh, so yeah, we'll just see what happens, right? So, life updates since we last spoke. I don't think I have any. Just been working, standard. Uh, Halloween happened. I think I had the new tattoo when I last spoke to you. If not, here it is and it's all shiny glory. I clearly can't bend my arm like... Yeah, it's still healing, so it's nice and shiny. Um, it is Mummy Mouse. Mummy Mouse. It is my Halloween tattoo. Um, what else has been going on? I just need to double check. I showed all of that last time. So, um, new tattoo work. Holiday coming soon. I think that's pretty much it. Not much else has been going on. Um. Halloween, no, 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 nothing happened on Halloween. We didn't get no trick or treaters, guys. So, all you US folks, especially like um, Debbie and Kef at Snug Harbour Crafts, well, you had like a hundred trick or treaters. We had none. Um, Halloween's still not a big thing over here. Wow, I say that. This is probably the most I've seen Halloween stuff. Out in people's houses, like out and about, and in the stores, in the shops, like in the grocery, kind of like Walmart type stores that we have, grocery stores, whatever you want to call them. Um, and, but they still didn't, they started that like the very last week in September, maybe more towards like the second week in October. We're shit guys, we are shit. And I keep looking over here. I should be looking over here. <laughs> Still not used to it, even after all this time of doing floss tubes, which is only like a year and a half, I think. Um, so yeah, Halloween happened. Well, didn't do anything for Halloween. I had no trick-or-treaters, even though I put Halloween stuff up in the kitchen window because our kitchen's on the front of the house and that's the front window. Um, None. Even put the lights on in the hallway to like show that somebody was home. But nothing. None. And when I went out, there was no kids on the road, like on the street. So I don't know what that's all about. Brits. Don't know what Halloween is. Um, I went to see the, the Friday before Halloween. I think it was like the 20... 28th? I can't be right. 26. Um, the local cinema was playing Beetlejuice for the 30th anniversary. So when I saw that, because obviously couldn't see that when I was a kid, <laughs> um, which was awesome. And uh, the local cinema is like a deluxe cinema. Um, so it has Lazy Boy recliners as all the chairs. So it's comfort. Yeah, it is. Um, so yeah, saw so Beetlejuice. What else? Um, yeah, I honestly think that's it. Not much else going on. Yeah. 
Um, so, stitching. I've been stitching on one project mainly, plus it's the arch. Each week it's been released and now I've, I'm working on a secret stitch, aka Diana's present, which you already know that it's for her because it's been in the works for months. Um, so yeah, overall not that much stitching updates. However, I have worked on other stuff and I'll show that. So, stitching. So we'll start with Stee Arch. Stee Arch. Um, Heather at the Imperfectly Perfect Stitchers um, got us needle minders made. Grim, uh, for the team. Should have said that. Um, so our team is the Grim Grinning Ghouls. Grim Grinning Ghouls. It's not going to focus, is it? Um, so she had those made for the team. I'm really slack. I still need to send. She sent me the ones for the people in the UK. I still need to post that out. I'll do that after. Um, so we're on week four, I think. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so this is uh, uh, this is where we're at at the minute. So week one was no idea that lighting might be too much, right? Um, so week one, we had an eye and a 69 and some of the swirly things at the top and bottom. So then week two was additional swirly things or these, or I can't even remember. Anyways, this week's release was released on Friday instead of Saturday, um, which totally threw my weekend because I had gotten into the routine of <laughs> doing Stee Arch on a Sunday morning whilst having coffee and watching crime channels. Because that's what I do on a Sunday morning. Watch coffee and watch... Drink coffee and watch crime channels. Um, so we had another eye. We had the middles of the, the things and the top one, I think, if I remember rightly. And um, the, the line across. Now... Still don't know what it is, and we're halfway through, right? So, could it be this way? Who knows? Or could it be uh, this way? Who knows? Still don't know what it is. However, I think these guys... I love how the colours look, to be fair, that I've chose. They're freaking awesome. I think these guys look like pretty demogorgons from Stranger Things. So I kind of hope it's a Stranger Things thing, <laughs> whatever way, they're upside down, right? Who knows? But that's where I'm at. Um, as per, I'll post all the links for it below. It's never too late to join in, guys. Never too late. Because um, it's fun. And there's various team challenges and stuff, but... That's all in the thing, yeah. Um, so what else did I work on? So I've been solidly working on, I think the last time I left you guys, I just put Guardians of Notre Dame in the Q snap for me to like try and catch up on. And I wanted to try and catch up on the four months that I had to catch up on before the end of October. Well, that didn't work, clearly, <laughs> clearly. Um, However, I managed to catch up on basically, if I can get it to a point, um, this guy, this guy, this guy did all of this frame um, and did the half of the middle. Which, like, I thought I'd stretched out the fabric, so every time I stitched on it, this was looking really long. And now I've got the width out of it, and the bit in the middle done. It doesn't look as stretched out, and I'm not that concerned about it. 
so I still need to catch up on that one. Um, now I've got three and a half months to catch up on because of November's release. It's okay. It will get finished by the end of the year and it will be done. It shall be done. Um, and this resides in my bag from Christine at Stitch All The Things. Here it is. And my little zipper bag from M Kisser. Here it is. So that is all the stitching. Apart from secret stitching. Which obviously I can't show you. Because that's for Diana. <laughs> so, what else? Oh, no. I think I seriously need to get my hair cut because it's like way long, way long. Um, so what else? Oh, I received the first um, Country Cottage Needleworks Glitter Village. Yeah, we did. So yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that will get like the YouTube screenshot. If not, that's a totally awkward part of the video, right? Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these. They are cute. I could do them as little ornaments. I don't know why I brought it. But why did we buy anything? Um, and then when I got the needle minder for this DH team from Heather at the Imperfectly Perfect Stitcher, Stitchery? Stitch? Stitcher? Imperfectly perfect stitcher. Um, she didn't have global shipping on her Etsy store before, um, so I was kind of like a trial run um, through checkout on her store for international shipping. So I may have purchased some needle minders that have been eyeballing for quite some time now. So we have the Dumbo poster from Fantasyland. Disney, of course. Duh. Then the Hatbox Ghost from the Haunted Mansion, who only resides in Disneyland, California, I think. You know what's good about me showing you these now? I can put them on my pin board and put them in circulation. <laughs> Although my pin board is getting quite full. I might have to sort that out after. And then the other ones that I ordered, because I love the Haunted Mansion. Love it. It's my favorite ride. Um, next to the Enchanted Tiki Room, which is my favorite attraction. This is the difference. Um, as well as, um, Jungle Cruise. Um, so these are four needle minders and they are the stretching portraits from the Haunted Mansion. So you've got the alligator girl, the man in his TNT barrel, the three guys in quicksand and um, the widow. The widow. I don't think I've got anything else <laughs> oh, that I got purchases. I think that was pretty much it. That was good purchases. I can take all these off now. Ah. And Heather's needle minders have got like really strong magnets on them, which is fantastic. So yeah, the imperfectly perfectly imperfectly perfect stitcher. That's not going to focus, is it? Her. You will love her, and I'll link her below. Uh, so, what else have I been working on? My you say, well, guys, um, I showed you my finished quilt top before. However, 
And I think I showed you the backing fabric that I was buying. Yes, I did. However, to prove Diana wrong, <laughs> um, I said I was going to get a wiggle on my quilt because she likes to apply the pressure and she thinks I won't do it. Well, Diana, you know what I did on Sunday. Oh. Um, so I did the backing, the batting, and I pin basted it. Now I'm going to, um, I'm not going to quilt this. I'm going to tie it. Tying a quilt, right? So basically what you do is you get thread and tie knots in the quilt. It's a simple, I hope it's a simple way of doing it. Because I'm not confident in doing machine quilting yet. And I don't want to do hand quilting because ain't nobody got time for that shit. Um, so I got this um, pearl cotton and it's red and sparkly. Can you see that? Yeah. Red and sparkly. Um, so I'm going to tie my quilt. And then I was either going to do some binding... But the more I think about it, the more I'm going to take Diana's idea, I think, and use the backing fabric and fold that over to have as the binding, right? Let me try and show you. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't do quilting. But this I'm very excited about because this will be my first quilt and it's cute. So, say... Obviously the binding won't be this big, but I assume this is what she, um, Diana meant when she said use the backing as the binding. So you like fold over the edges and sew it down and then that's your binding, right? If not, please tell me I'm wrong, but that's the gist of it that I get. And I think that will be super simple to like finish it. I hurt my finger putting all the pins in. <laughs> I also managed to, um, which is quite funny in itself, because um, I had it in the living room on the living room floor. And I was on my hands and knees. No jokes, please, guys. <laughs> I was on my hands and knees doing it, um, doing all the pinning. Um, and stretching and whatnot and doing all the pinning, yeah? I managed to pull a muscle in my leg, in my buttocks. So that was fun. <laughs> um, but that I'm hoping to finish. Maybe I'll do some tying like this week at some point, I hope. Um, this weekend I'm putting up the Christmas decorations in the house. Um because I don't want to do it when I come back on holiday because that'll be the start of December so I want to get it done so when I come home and I'm already in my festive mood because of festive Disney I'm going to come home and my house is going to be festive so then the other stuff I've been doing I haven't done more than I should do um, I start, I cut the fabric for this tote bag um, Sarah at Stitchology is that her new yeah, Sarah Elliot. Um, she showed one of these bags that she created before using this pattern. There's a YouTube video from the designer as well. And it's so simple. So simple. Anyways, I cut all the fabrics in September. I don't know if you remember, guys, when I sliced my finger open. So, um... I started sewing some of the fabrics together the other night um, and this is the first and I'm making mine out of some Tula pink scraps that I've got um, so these are some of the fabrics for the first panel now this looks gaudy as fuck gaudy, tacky, tacky as hell but I love all these fabrics and I didn't know what I was going to do with them um, 
but I love the idea of the Tula scrap bag because it has all my favourite Tula fabrics and they're all together on a bag. So that's the first panel. I need to sew all the rest together. Sew all the rest together. What else? I think that's it. 20 minutes. <laughs> this is a super quick video, guys. Um, what else? I'm pretty sure I've not done anything else. Uh, I'm trying to think. I feel like it's been a long time, but I don't feel like it's been a long time. So this might be a really short video. I feel like I'm losing my voice as well. That is not good. I haven't finished book from Hocus Pocus. I still need to do that, but now Halloween's over. Um, yeah. I've got loads of shit that I need to FFO. Um, for that, I don't know, it'll probably be after the holiday now. Um, I'm gonna do possibly a live YouTube of doing when I'm doing my finishes. Uh, we'll see. I don't do live Instagram or anything like that. Nope. <sighs> what else? I've had my fabric of the month from Sparklies. Which I really like. It's like a really nice greeny blue. And it's really mottled too. Love it. So, not sure what I'm going to do on that. But got that for the stash. I think I'm going to cancel my Jodery Designs Fabric of the Month clip because the stuff that I'm getting in that is pretty much the same now. So I might just stick with sparkly. Um, yeah, that's it. So I will maybe do a video whilst I'm on holiday. Um, I, don't, I was going to take this with me guardians to try and get it finished however as I need to get secret stitching finished I would probably take this with me and another small because this needs to be finished when I'm out there so I can post it to Diana hopefully fingers crossed guys fingers crossed the positive mental attitude right it will get done so yeah, um, otherwise, plans, I'm just catching up, still catching up on the sales. So then once they're finished in December, um, I can just work through my whips. I'm not going to do any monthly release sales next year. I'm not going to do any monthly release sales next year. Um, purely because Frosted Pumpkin just isn't tickling my pickle anymore and even this month's release is some kind of weird thing I don't even know what it is because we don't have them here <laughs> like I mean we don't have a lot of things that have come out on that here but I don't even know what it is never heard of it before um so yeah but when I finish with that I'll be sending it to um the new LNS that's opening in North Cow, I think. TNT Trouble or something. Um, but yeah, I was sending it to her as a um, showpiece for the shop. Stitch piece. I don't know what it's called. Anyways, Christine mentioned her in her video. <laughs> um, ooh, shout outs. Oh no. I need to go and get my iPad. Please hold. Hi. So, um, floss tube shout outs. Let me, I have watched some new people and, and people I follow on Instagram have done um, floss tubes, which is amazing. So, 
that's not the thing I was looking for. So first shout out goes to um, Melissa, who is the, the redhead, Stitch Till You're Dead, Stitcher. Um, she's got three videos, I think, now. I think so. I haven't watched the last one, but I've watched the first and second one. Anyway, she seems pretty awesome. Um, she's done some cute projects. She did a Gremlins project. I approve. Um, but yeah, she seems super cool. Um, so everybody should go and check her out. Then, um, another floss tuber, which is Jamie, who's crafty gaming Jamie. Um, apparently she did floss tube before and then she deleted all of her videos and now she started up again. She does like big ass projects, like super huge. And she has beautiful hair, beautiful hair. Um, so yeah, go and check out Jamie. And then, I'm sorry if I'm gonna butcher your name, but I'm gonna attempt it. Zakia or Zakia at Ladywing Stitches. She um, used to do yarn videos, I think, or did, and then has started floss tube videos too. Um, she seems pretty awesome. So go and check out Zakia or Zakia. Um, and then the pièce de résistance, my three new favourite people, the Sunshine Stitchers. A, because they reside in Florida. Am I going to have to come and meet you guys? Because you guys rock. B, EJ Creates is one of them. And C, or whatever, they're just amazingly hilarious together. Like, they are so much fun. So you've got EJ from EJ Creates. Um, Gary Wayne Hoverter. Hover oh, I'm sorry, Gary. But you're a beautiful stitcher and you have the best stitching ever on your wall whenever you guys shoot the video. He's awesome. He, he's a pro. Total pro. And then you've got Sheila Simcats. Um... I'll link all these floss tubes below and all of their Instagrams too, so you can follow them both. Um, Sheila, Sheila's like, I don't even know. She loves true crime. True crime. I love watching true crime. So the crime channel is like my go-to channel. If there's nothing on, if there's nothing else I need to watch or catch up on, crime channel. All the time. Um, all three of them. EJ, Gary and Sheila, you are amazing and if I can get out to you at the Cross Stitch Covered, I think it was, that's their local LNS in um, South Florida, by, it's not far from Hollywood I don't think, in Florida, um, I don't know. I did look at it on the map, I was just like, hmm, how far is this from where I'm staying? <laughs> I'm just going to show up. Like, um, yeah, if I can totally get to a stitching day at their LNS, whilst all three of them are there, I'm going to totally fangirl over them, because they are freaking awesome. So yeah, go and check out those guys. They're amazing. I've still got some stuff up on my D stash Instagram, um, including some finished items. And that is purely because I just don't have the need for them, to be honest. Um, just not, uh, A, I don't have anywhere to put them or B, I don't really want to keep them. <laughs> Good Morning Maui released new patterns, uh, the Haunted Mansion stretching portraits. So all of these guys, ow, ah, my finger. That's how strong these magnets are. Mm. So, oh my God. You get the idea, right? All of these guys in cross stitch, cute, Good Morning Maui form. They're amazing. 
Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to go with because I've got nothing else to say. Um, and I will either see you whilst I'm on holiday. We'll see. Depends if where we're staying has Wi-Fi. I should do. Um, and um, stitching of dates might be few and far between whilst I'm away. However, you will see holiday posts. So, I don't know what's worse. I hope everyone's doing good. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, what have you. Um, yeah, you guys are awesome. And if, yeah, if you have any questions, just comment below. If you want alerts for my stupid face when my videos go live, click on the bell thing. I don't know if you want to. You might not want to. Who does? I shall see you guys soon. Peace out, nerds.